first I wish to take this opportunity um, to congratulate the Honorable Chief Justice on her appointment and also welcome her to the NCAJ um, as much as she's the chief, uh, she's the chair. Um, I think we, we, she found us here, so it's only right to welcome her to the NCAJ. Welcome, Honorable CJ. I also wish to take this opportunity to welcome the Honorable CS Interior and the DG NMS uh, to NCAJ as guests of, of uh, the Chief Justice. Welcome. Um, I must confess, first I was a bit apprehensive um, when, when we said we were going to welcome my brother, the CS and the, the Director General of the NMS, not, not in a bad way, as, as you've heard. Um, the CS has really been supportive of, of the ODPP and we've realized a lot. Um, and we could not have achieved, for example, the PTI as we well enumerated here, um, its vision without its support. Um, but I was afraid, of course, of our friend, the media, and the headline that uh, will probably come out tomorrow. Uh, having decided to close their ears to the fact that what we are saying here is that uh, we are independent but interdependent of each other. Uh, we make the state, um, which is very clear in the, in the Constitution, that the three arms of government make the state that is um, the government of Kenya. Um, and of course, the head of the government of Kenya is uh, none other than His Excellency the President, as much as he's also the head of the executive arm. Um, and in no way uh, does this mean that uh, um, either the judiciary or the ODPP or um, the security services were here, were meant to be dependent but interdependent of each other, have in any way um, given in uh, to their different mandates. But it's only, as, uh, as the CJ aptly put it, we are trying to look for ways to ensure that the Mwanainchi, the benefits, and that each one is able to discharge their mandates. Um, and you know I like uh, referring to African um, proverbs, and the Swahili proverbs of uh, proverbs saying, uwezi kuwa chawa, sijuika manasema sawa, bi na kidole kimoja. Lazima kushika chao, lazima ufanya hivi. So that's effectively, effectively what we are doing and what we are trying to do. Um, Honorable CJ, um, you, you did talk about uh, the 400 uh, um, judiciary officers that you have. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will also enumerate the challenges that we have. We are roughly 1,300, but out of that, it's only 1,000 prosecutors. Again, it's 7,000 DCI officers that we have to deal with. <laughs> and uh, and uh, 1,000 ESCC officers who we also have to deal with. 725. Well, okay, 725. <laughs> um, who we have to deal with and deal with their cases. But in addition, there's KRA, there's KWS, um, yet... Um, we have to deal with it, and yet we also have to present it to you mm -hmm. with only 400 staff. Mm -hmm. uh, that is a huge challenge, and I would urge um, um, you know, the executive and also parliament uh, to support mm -hmm. us, and especially the judiciary, mm -hmm. to be able to increase in their numbers and, and allow us to be more effective and, 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 and um, serve Mwanainchi. And I think NCAJ is one such tool. Um, that we hope is well coordinated, and I think the intention of the CJ is very clear. Um, if well coordinated, uh, we will be able to achieve that because it's, it's a vehicle that is meant to bring all the principles together. We have numerous CUCs, but they are not effective without the participation of the principals who are here today. Um, so, Honorable CJ, I want to thank you for this initiative, and I can see the wisdom in, in it now. So thank you very much.